In this video, we're gonna look at a stick handling skill that Brent Burns has that helps him create more offense and score more goals. We're gonna break down some game film, looking at him use this move in a game, and we're also gonna work on some off ice training. This is part of our free Brent Burns Challenge series. This is a free series that covers how to train, play, perform like Brent Burns. If you don't have access to this series yet, if you haven't signed up, go do that. It's 247hockey.com slash burns, or there's a link in the description below. Again, it's a free training series that we put together on how you can actually start to create more offense and become a better offensive defenseman like Brent Burns. Here we're gonna look at some backward skating puck control that Brent Burns uses with a quick release snapshot to score a goal in a game. There's gonna be two parts of this video. There's gonna be the study portion where we're gonna watch and dissect the game film of him actually performing this move and we're gonna have the train portion. We're actually gonna to put together some training so that you can build the skills and the confidence and awareness to pull this off in a game. First, let's study this move. Let's watch this game film, let's dissect this, figure out how he pulls this off and why it works. Here we have Burns getting the puck on the blue line and we're gonna see when he picks up that puck, he's gonna use some backwards skills here. He's handling that puck backwards, pulls it around that last shot blocker and gets it through. So Pavelski's making the drop pass here, and then Burns uses backwards skating and stick handling to get around that first player. And then here, as he's got that shot blocker coming on him, he pulls that puck in tight and then rips that thing low short side. Great job handling the puck backwards at a high speed and getting that quick shot off. If you want to be an elite offensive defenseman, you have to learn how to handle that puck skating backwards. Now, let's incorporate the training component. So you can do this training off the ice, you can also do it on the ice if you have access to ice time, but don't use that as an excuse if you don't have ice time. Off the ice is just as valuable. You can use tennis shoes, you can, do you can use roller blades. The training is so important because the training is what's gonna allow you to actually perform this in a game. It's gonna give you those high quality repetitions so that you're able to instinctively identify the situation where you can use this move and you're gonna have the skills because you've been training, you're gonna have the skills to pull it off. For this drill, you're gonna stick handle the puck moving backwards taking three to four strides in each direction at a diagonal angle while you're handling the puck. You're gonna make sharp cuts, moving backwards and changing directions. You should be turning at a direct angle, not rounding off your turns. So you're planting that outside foot and cutting directly at a diagonal angle. You're handling that puck, working on keeping your head up as much as possible. If you don't have a lot of space to do this drill, do it as quick as you can and get as many as you can and then just change directions and go the other way. You don't have to go for a longer distance if you don't have as much room. Make sure those knees are bent. Make sure you're controlling the puck with the top hand and make sure you're working on keeping that head up as much as possible. For this drill, you're gonna handle the puck moving backwards, making the quick cuts each direction. After making two to three cuts, you're gonna perform a toe pull as if you're toe pulling that puck around an opposing player and releasing the shot. You're gonna perform this for 10 reps with 10 shots. All shots should be at the same target. You're aiming for the same target each time. I want you to track how many of those targets you hit out of 10. The next time through, you can switch targets. Make sure you're performing this with a high intensity. Make sure you're keeping those knees bent. Overemphasize the knee bend. Release that puck quick, shoot that puck hard. I hope this video helped you, and I wanna tell you how you can even get more training like this. We have a free Brent Burns Challenge. All right, so this is free training that we're gonna take you through to level up your game, level up your training, and dominate 
from the blue line just like Brent Burns. So you can go to 247hockey.com slash Burns. You can type that in right now, 247hockey.com slash Burns. You can also click the link in the description. Now, if you like this video, leave us a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what NHL players you'd like us to see us do next. What NHL players would you like to see us break down and help you train like next? Now, also, if you want to access that challenge right now for free and get started, click right on my face. It's going to take you right to that free Brent Burns challenge. Seriously, click right here. All right, right here. Seriously, you're going to love this free challenge. Click right here.